Welcome back to the channel, everyone. Uh, my name is Robin, aka Cayman Spider, and today I am going to be reviewing and unboxing for the first time the all digital liquid crystal instrument cluster for the uh, 2008 to current Maserati Gran Turismo and also the earlier versions of the Quattroporte. Um, I just got this in and I did order it in matte black. This is my personal one and I'm going to review it and kind of go over all the features and everything. And also I'm going to show how to install it. This is extremely simple to install. Um, it won't take you very long at all. Um, anyone can do this and I will be demonstrating this. All right, let's get started with the unboxing. First of all, the uh, the presentation of the box is just phenomenal. Uh, they really packaged it very well. It is a 12.3 inch screen. It's a Linux system uh, with a HD uh, 1920 by 720 display. Uh, here's a, uh, a USB cord. Uh, this actually plugs into the back, which I'll demonstrate later, but this is for updates, so for future updates to the system, which is really cool, it's, so it is fully updatable. Like I say, it does come packaged very nice and very well. And there it is, guys. I still have the protective film on it. Uh, like I say, I got mine in matte black which is going to match the factory finish just absolutely perfect this does come in um, carbon fiber and it also comes in piano black so you have three options um, I do have the layer protective layer we'll go ahead and peel it off lay that aside and there it is. Looks like it right here on the corner. Looks like a, probably a um, a reset somewhere where you could reset it. Um, you can see that very faintly. There's the temp gauge over there, and your fuel gauge is over there. And then you have a 12.3 inch screen. Um, now on the back, on the back. Um, like I say, the connections are very simple. You only have the factory plug-in there, and then you have your USB cord that'll plug in there that's uh, for updates, and I'll show you how to run that and where to run it for easy access. Uh, it does have some vents back here. Uh, looks like that's a speaker there, so for um, uh, notifications and stuff, I suppose the sensors and all that good stuff, the backup sensors and all that. So. Um, well, there you go. Uh, we're going to go ahead and get started on the installation, and I'm going to do a step-by-step -step on how to install it, and then we'll go through all the functions and features and stuff. The tools you're going to need are pretty simple for this job. You're going to need your uh, plastic price set. You can buy this at any auto parts store. Um, a long uh, Phillips screwdriver may, just makes it easy to get the Phillips screws out. Um, and then you're going to need a 3 millimeter, a 4 millimeter, and a 5 millimeter. And those are Allens or whatever you want to call them. So, pretty easy job. Um, it should take you, oh, about maybe 30 minutes to do the whole job, maybe 45 at the most. Just take your time and you should be good to go. Okay, and now for the installation of the LCD gauge cluster. So what we're going to do, it's pretty straightforward. We're going to remove this, and this is aluminum with a carbon fiber overlay, so it's very rigid. You're not going to hurt it. I just got to be uh, very careful when removing it. Uh, some of my earlier videos show on how to remove this. Um, just get a plastic pry tool set is the best and you just gently start prying it from one end and start working it all the way around. Um, and then the next one is this here. I already have it loose, so you just uh, pull that out. I'll use my pry tool on the rest of it. Um, 
And then what we're going to do, we're going to tape this up right here. We're going to tape this uh, this part right here. We're going to tape all this up right here, and I'll show you why. Because we're going to we're going to pop off this leather piece here. It's just a bunch of clips. So we'll pop that off to access two screws under there. And then there's going to be um, a screw there and a screw there. And this little uh, panel up there is going to come off. And then there's four screws and the whole entire cluster comes off. So we're going to go ahead and pop that off. Now that we have the uh, trim pieces off, there's going to be uh, this screw right here and then one over here uh, right there. So we need to take those two off. And the size of that is going to be a four millimeter. Okay, next we're going to do the two top screws uh, there and there. And that takes a three millimeter. Okay, for the panel is super easy. Once you get the bolts out, um, you just lift down on it, pull it straight out, and it comes off. So set it aside in a safe place. Now the next thing I'm going to do is go ahead and tape this up and we're going to pop this uh, uh, leather off and then we're going to go ahead and set the steering wheel all the way down and all the way out. Okay, once you have this out, um, all these little clips here are popped out. Um, some of mine have broken off just because I've taken this off a billion times. So probably be ordering a new one of these eventually, but don't worry. Uh, I've literally taken this off probably 15 times, so I've kind of wore some of these out, but um, you'll be fine. Now underneath here, there are two um, Phillips screws. There's one there and one on the other side. So that's, we're going to take those off and then this whole entire piece here uh, will come off. Okay, so once you have that unscrewed, it just literally pulls straight out. Now what you want to do, you'll want to flip it over because you'll see there's a little, um, it looks like a little, it's a little speaker, I think, uh, or a little, uh, does the beep indicators. Um, so you want to take a Phillips screwdriver and take that off. Okay, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to take out uh, these two upper screws and those are four millimeters and then you'll see back in there there's one there and one there and those are five millimeters so we'll get those out and then the unit should come out. Okay once you get the four bolts out which are fairly easy you just kind of pull down on the top here there's a little bit of give and just pull straight out and now you're going to reveal the um, the connection right there so what you have to do there's a little um, clip here and I believe I might have to use two hands but it uh, yeah there's a little button in the back a little you can see the button right there you just press that and up and this will unplug I'm gonna have to use both hands I believe to get it unplugged nope I got it okay and now the instrument cluster is a hundred percent free and we could just pull it out you'll see I have the cord right there attached and then I have it running down and there's just a nice space um, right here on the left side and you'll be able to pull it down and you'll have access right there so all you have to do to do updates is just pop this down and you could plug in a USB stick or um, with the update and update it if as updates come about so we'll go ahead and get this all put in and see what it looks like once you um, 
get it plugged in and that was kind of the most difficult thing it was it's kind of tight in there so you need to really cover everything out up because you're going to scratch the heck out of everything i already scratched the top here but oh well i'll i'll have to see if i could fix it um but you're going to have to um really put this in side here make sure you put rags in there so you don't scratch the front of this um, and then once that plugs in you just clip that back and then make sure this is plugged in the blue update wire um, and that's about it um, and now we're going to go ahead and set it up and in and hopefully it just uh, fits in there just perfect we got it set in there now now we're ready to start bolting it um, I still have the protective cover on it. Um, just need to be careful, make sure and everything's cut up. You know, it might not even be a bad idea to run some tape around your edges and stuff while you're putting it in then peel it off. Um, just got a little tiny nick right there. That was my fault for not being careful. Um, and then kind of scratched a little bit right here. Mine's starting to get a little sticky up here, so I'm going to see if I can't... Uh, wipe that that's just kind of that sticky stuff that's, that's kind of rubbed there so we'll see what we could do if we could fix that or not um, if not probably gonna have to get a new new cover but that was my own fault my own doing there um so it'd probably be best to, just to make sure everything's covered really well so you don't scratch anything learn from my mistakes